Hello everyone, my name is Ashley, I'm one of the founders of Skira and I'm here today to show you everything that's new in Construct 3 release 157. Let's get started. Uh, the big new feature of this release is we've now introduced the new scripting feature. Um, this allows you to use JavaScript programming uh, in Construct. You can use it in the events, uh, event sheet, or you can use your uh, standalone script files. It couldn't be easier to write your first line of code. Here's how it works. You can now simply add a script as an action. And traditionally, your first program will just say, hello world. Oops, there we go. And when you run that, when you click the button, it runs that JavaScript. So we're super excited about this. We think this is going to be an incredibly good new, new way of learning how JavaScript programming works. And uh, it's an important skill to use. And JavaScript is one of the most uh, popular programming languages in the world. So you'll be learning real world skills there as well. And you can uh, write script files as well. And if you like, write your entire project in JavaScript code. So this is a whole new area for Construct to go in. Um, we're very excited to see what people can do with it and we are still going to be um, adding new features for the event sheet um, and behaviors and all the other features as well we haven't forgotten about that we're just extending construct with a new um, uh, a new way to program as you can see on the start page here there's this new scripting category with examples about how to use the new JavaScript um, uh, coding feature. Take a look. Um, the ghost shooter code example is an interesting one to have a look at, especially if you're more familiar with JavaScript, because this takes the familiar ghost shooter demo and uh, implements it using only JavaScript code. So there's uh, no events, as you can see, no event sheets here. There are no behaviors used either. It shows you how you can use JavaScript to fully code your game. And if we run it, you can see it works like the familiar demo. So take a look at this. This shows you the power of the new JavaScript coding feature and shows you how far you can go with it. So we can't wait to see what you can do with this. Moving on to our, one of our other new features, the timeline feature. Um, it's worth highlighting how we can now add tags to a uh, timeline. So let's just, uh, I've got a demo project here. Um, if I show you, there's a little simple timeline moving an object along there and you now can see these master keyframes have a little flag icon that means they've got a tag um, so you can see I've added a tag to um, the tags property of the first keyframe and there's a second and the third and the fourth and these tags will now trigger um, on keyframe reached and on any keyframe reached and when you run the project um, you can see up here the triggers are firing and this is a really useful way to help you integrate events with timelines or even to integrate uh, JavaScript code with timeline um, keyframes. So this is a, a great way to make animations more interactive and more closely integrate them with your game. Another new timeline feature uh, is you can now have custom ease curves. So in the timelines folder, there's the eases subfolder. And an ease is basically a uh, a curve is a function over time to um, move from one point to another uh, and so you can customize how the movement works I'm just going to make a silly little ease uh, which basically moves very slowly then very quickly then very slowly again and I'm going to put that in the second frame and you can see my custom ease now appears in the list and now when I play that it's linear and then my ease curve and then linear again. So this gives you full control over precisely how your animations work and hopefully will be fun for animators to make use of. Next up, I'm going to open uh, the screenshots demo because this demonstrates two new features we've got in this release. Uh, first up, you can now add comments within actions. So this has been quite a long-standing request. You can now finally do it. Uh, so if you have a long list of actions, you can break them up with comments. So you can find that in the add menu. Um, so you can now add a comment which appears in actions, or you can use the Q keyboard shortcut. And there you go. Okay. Uh, 
The other new feature is we have a separate video about this. It's, it's called Asynchronous Actions. Um, so many actions will run in the background whilst the game con continues to run and then trigger a event when it's finished. You can now simply use the wait for previous actions to complete system action. So for example, previously taking a snapshot would um, take a moment to complete and then uh, fire an on snapshot complete trigger. Uh, now you can simply use the wait action after it. It's a bit like wait one second, um, but it's going to wait for something before it to finish instead. And these icons can help you understand what's happening. This sort of clock icon here means it's an asynchronous action which runs in the background, and then that means wait until that finishes. And you can use it more than once in a list of actions, so it's used again here for an Ajax request, and then waits for that to complete before it then goes on to run the sub-events. So this is really useful because previously this would have taken three separate events and they could end up scattered throughout your event sheet. This means now everything is simply in one list of actions which makes it much easier to understand what's going on. And combined, of course, combined with action comments, uh, it's a really useful way to explain what's going on uh, to yourself as well. Um, another thing we've done, we've done a lot of uh, under the hood work to improve the loading time. So the editor loads nice and quickly now. Um, so hopefully that will help you get going, especially if we're on a slow connection. And there's been tons of other work that we've done, lots of internal upgrades and some optimizations, and as usual, a lot of bug fixes. So do go and check the uh, release notes, um, the intervening release notes since R148 for the full details. And check our blog for more information about the scripting future and uh, everything else that's uh, coming up new. That's all for today. Uh, thanks and stay tuned for more updates.